Hello, bees bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have three new boss deeds. We're gonna do three quick unboxings and it's all gonna start right now. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Here's what the box looks like and it looks like somebody or somebody's dog already chewed into it. That made for an easy unboxing, but uh, you get the little insert and you get a nice pouch with a patch. You get a pouch with a patch, but this, this okay, a lot of people are really gonna be digging this blade on this knife. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Check, oh, oh, what's, okay, it has a nice little cloth with it, and a nice case, and look at this. This is the brand new Vostid Raccoon, but <laughs> it's not the Vostid Raccoon you've been used to. Wait till you see this blade. First of all, we have a reversible deep carry clip, and it's inset into the liners. You have flat screws. Uh, the blade is, Pretty centered, maybe just a hair to the clip side. This one here is a button lock, but they have a button lock and a crossbar lock in this new blade shape, which I'm about to show you. But first, I gotta give you a little bit of texture vision. There's a little bit of texture. This is some nice, you know, this is some different looking micarta. I really like the looks of that. You're gonna like the way it looks. And look at this, the edges are nice and rounded. I bet the ergos are just gonna be phenomenal. I have a whole collection of raccoons. There's like, I don't even know how many. There's probably 15 to 20 different variants of the of the Vostid raccoon. But the thing that's different about this one is this blade. You ready? Pow, right in the kisser. Oh yeah, now that is soxy. <laughs> <laughs> that is a soxy blade right there. Check it out. They, they're, they're calling it the cleaver. I mean, it kind of looks like a modified sheep's foot, but you know, I, that kind of falls in the cleaver category. Look at that. 14C, 28 in, baby. Uh, there it is right there, 14C. You know what? That is pretty cool. And you can get it in the, the black stone wash or the satin versions. And I think there's five different configurations of the cleaver version of the raccoon. Now, if you've been in the knife community for any amount of time, you have seen the raccoon. You've heard about the raccoon. You know about the raccoon. But if you're brand new to the whole scene, here's the QSP penguin. <laughs> Hopefully you've seen the QSP penguin. Odds are you've seen them both. And here is the new Civivi Elementum Warncliffe. It's right there in the, in the medium size range range knives and if you're not familiar well let's just make it make it more familiar you know get to know it it's coming in at 7.55 inches your blade is about 2.85 just about 2.9 inches of sharpened length and we'll get a quick weight on it you know just because we're having fun and talking about knives if you're driving down the road right now just listen to the bees blades you're going to watch this later be careful i'm grateful for all of the subscribers subscribers <laughs> All the prescribers, all the subscribers to the channel and the viewers and everybody that hangs out on the live streams. This bad boy comes in at 3.14 ounces. So you're right there close to the three ounce mark. So the finish on it is very, very nice. How about the fit? Left and right, up and down. I'm feeling zero movement at all. So nothing in the movement department. And how smooth are we talking here? For your, for your action, it has, ooh, okay. We have, a, we have another button lock with good blade retention. I'm not getting a bounce out. That is nice, very nice. This is a knife that would be perfect to give someone as a gift for your birthday or Christmas or something like that. And this is the kind of knife that if, they're, if you're not a knife collector, this is like the, you get this knife and it's gonna last you for years and years and years, probably a lifetime if you're not doing stupid things with it. Look at this. Big front forward sharpening tool, so you can sharpen this till the cows come home. Or if you don't, if you don't have cows, you can just sharpen it until you get bored with sharpening, or it gets dull. But yeah, so the action is very good. Can I reverse flick it? Ooh, that's tight. Ugh. I cannot, I can't, I'm getting my finger back there, but I'm not getting the reverse flick. So that's telling you that it has good blade retention. And just because of the location of the thumb studs in relation to where it's locked up, um, can I do it with my, ooh, yeah, I can't even get it to unlock with my index finger. So that is, uh, that could be a good or a bad thing. Now flickability, ah, there we go. It was a matter of where I had my thumb. See, I was pushing from underneath. If you want to reverse flick it, you got to get, underneath and not from the side. So now I know where, okay, there it is. <laughs> That's much better. I was like, this thing is locked like Loctite. Very good. So you just have to put your finger up a little bit higher, uh, right underneath the thumb stud, then you get a nice, clean, snappy reverse flick. 
Ooh, man, it has it has good action. This thing, the ergos, I already know the ergos are good on it. I have a large width hand and you can choke up here. Um, the only thing that it's lacking in my opinion is a little more aggressive jimping. It needs more, more jimping and then probably because of this coating, the jimping isn't very grippy. It does work. It's just, I prefer a little more. You guys hear me say that on almost every video unless a knife has perfect jimping. So that's just a bee's blades thing. But this is a perfect knife. It is a cardboard destroyer. It is a Twinkie box opener. And if you want to get this in the reverse, cl the reverse clip, <laughs> I'm always talking about reverse clips, right? But in the reverse grip, it's comfortable and this is gonna be great. Oh yeah. See, if you look here, the pivot's up here and your point is lower than the pivot. So you're gonna be, do, be able to do utility cuts or open packages. Man, I love this blade shape. I think that's a fantastic thing they did. Now, let me show the other one real quick. Oh, and by the way, these what for what you get for the materials, the fit, the finish, 59 doll hairs, I think, they, they nailed it. Getting under the $60 mark with 14 seed knife that is done so well, that, that is just impressive. So let's open up the second one and then I'm gonna give you a little size comparison and wait till you see this one. This is also, these are all new Vosties that I have this one and one more, so I'm not gonna take forever. I don't have to tell you a lot about this. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I did not know. <laughs> I did not know. Oh my goodness. Whoa, look at that. Yikes, this is sweet. Aluminum frag pattern. <laughs> I just thought this was blue aluminum. I didn't know it was blue frag. Oh, mamacita. Look at that. Just look at that. Oh, and this one here is the crossbar lock. So you do have so many different options and styles of the raccoon, oh yeah. My favorite, my personal favorite is the crossbar lock. I just really like the action. I like how snappy and how secure it feels. Now this is what the regular version, well not the regular, but this is what the crossbar version looks like. There's that blade and here is the new blade if you wanna compare them. And here is, a, here's a good look of three different finishes that you can get on the Raccoon. And you, you can get the satin finish on this bad boy too. This one here looks more of a coated or a bead blast finish, whatever it is. Wow, does it look good. And it still has that 14C28 in. This is the white, <laughs> as you can see by that symbol right now, this is the White Mountain Knives exclusive version. Oh, and I'll put links to all these different Raccoons in the description and in the comment section where you can go check them out. But I think I have a new favorite. Oh, wow. This one just, oh, wow. I love, I love the feel. I like the weight of it. It's not heavy at all. And it's just such a fantastic knife. Now, before we talk about raccoons the rest of the day, let me get this third one out here. It's a different model and it's a new one. Are you ready? Let's get this one out of the box. Um, and yeah, I, the only thing I could figure is someone did quality control on them because they had all been previously opened or they might've been stopped at customs. Uh, may, that actually I think was the case, something like that happened. But it also comes with a nice pouch and this is a new version of a previously re, re, uh, released <laughs> released knife. This is the Vosteed Corgi. Would you look at it? Just look at it. And yes, this is a knife and it has the track lock. It has a very nice plate on both sides that gives it extra stability. Um, it's very nice. This is like an office carry or just an everyday carry or go out to dinner carry. I mean, oh yeah, and look at this. It has a reversible deep carry clip. It also has, this right here is the JG10, by the way. This is the new colorway. And there's a couple different uh, blade options you, you, that you could get for this bad boy. I like that it's clean. It doesn't even look like a knife. You could have that sitting on your desk and someone would just look over and be like, I have no idea what that is. But let's, you ready to see this blade? Pow, right in the kisser. Oh yeah, 14C28 in, uh, good blade steel. Now, let me go ahead and wipe this off. And they have so many different, there's like 15, counted them, 15 different versions of the Corgi. Different blade colors, different handle covers, colors. You can get, uh, here you go. Here, <laughs> you can get the copper, you can get micarta, you can get G10. This is G10, the JG10. So you can pick pick your poison for the color. And I'll put links where you can go and check out all the ones that are available right now. And the thing is, it's crazy about such a cool knife. This is 62 bucks. 
So it has, it has reverse, not reverse, but a rear flipper and a front flipper. And it's just super clean, super snappy. It has good ergonomics. I mean, you can't go wrong with flat ergonomics like ergonomics. Who's this Irma person? Flat ergonomics like this. It's just a nice, comfortable, everyday carry knife. It's not a heavy duty or a heavy use knife. There is no jipping along the top. Along the top. I don't hate it because I don't really need to do something super heavy with this knife. This is going to be just for everyday use, cutting packages, cutting food. Maybe you're cutting an apple or cutting some steak. Yeah, I, I like this. Here's here's what it looks like next to a couple other versions of the Corgi. A couple of my favorites. Yeah, check these out. They look so good. They're just very crispy. And then this is what it looks like in between the QSP Penguin. And if you're new or you haven't seen my other videos, I probably have about six or seven or eight videos. Uh, well, I probably have a dozen videos of different Vostede knives. These, this one right here, and this one right here are the newest version, or these three are three of the newest versions. I do have the sprinkles version, but I'm not going to show that to you right now because it's not available. I don't want to tease you and have people trying to search all over the internet for things that aren't available. So we'll show that when it becomes available again. So there's three new versions of Vostede knives, and I'm really excited about this new blade on this bad boy. Oh, I'm loving that cleaver modified cleaver sheep's hooky pointy <laughs> whatever you want to call it doesn't matter that that is uh yeah that is right up my alley so tell me what you think do you have a favorite of these or do you not or how many do you have how many vosties do you have i am very curious to know now go watch this video you're really going to enjoy that and until i see you again in the lives or the chats or the hive streams remember live life in the present keep a band-aid handy and don't cut yourself